In this lecture, we will explore a special network architecture for object detection, which name is RCN. Let's first get a quick recap of the object detection task. For a given input image, what essentially this task does is to output a bounding box and uh, its object classes. We have explored the sliding window methods in the last lecture. But you may already notice that the sliding window method is too computational expensive as we are exhaustively sliding through and classifying thousands of or tens of thousands of boxes. So we need to find a computationally efficient solution. And uh, that brings us to this regional-based convolutional neural networks, or also called as RCN. So RCN is innovative paper from UC Berkeley back in 2014. And here is the full skeleton of the RCN. It contains three main components, the selective search, the feature extraction, and prediction. So the selective search extracts some bounding box and then going through a pre-trained convolutional neural network and only extract these features. The output contains two folds, the category predictions and the bounding box predictions. Let's take a look of these steps in details. So the first steps, selective search, is proposed in a paper from researchers at the University of Amsterdam. And the fundamental idea is to generate possible object bounding boxes by merging the similar smaller regions into the larger ones. To be more concrete, it contains the following three steps. Step one is to generate the initial sub segmentation. And this segmentation are usually by some low level of feature filter. And as we can see from the plot, the initial generalization are of super granular scales. And next, we recursively combine the similar smaller regions into the larger ones. From the left to the right in the plot here, we gradually enlarge each semantic region and combine sm similar smaller ones together. So last but not the least, we can output the candidate object bounding boxes for each semantic region. As we can see, the initial segmentation is a bit noisy and it has the most amount of box. As we combining the similar regions together, we can reach to an ideal number of semantic regions and crops the bounding box for each region. Well, we just learned the selective search step. Let's see what happened next. So the next step is called the feature extraction, where we first warp each rectangle box into a square, and then we feed the square into a pre-trained convolutional neural network. And these neural networks can extract features from low level to high level, and in the end, feed it to the prediction layer. So the last step is the prediction layer. It contains two folds. The first is to train an objective class classifier using multiple support vector machine models. And here, each support vector machine is used to determine whether an example belongs to a certain category. And second, we train a linear regression model for a ground truth bounding box prediction for each proposed region. And that's all what you need to know for the RCN. Is that pretty straightforward? 
However, train and predicting using RCN is still slow and expensive. The major reason comes from the selective search step, where it selected about 2,000 region for one image, and then the pre-trained convolutional neural networks need to extract feature for this 2,000 regions and train a model on them. And that's why we need further improvements on both training and prediction steps. So after the RCN came out, researchers accelerate the innovation process by developing more faster and accurate models, such as the fast RCN. As we can see in the table here, at the test time or the inference time, the original RCN detection with VGG16 takes about 50 seconds per image, which is super slow. However, the upgraded version got 25 times speed up with only 2 second inference per image. Well, the first RCN is by the same author as RCN, as it has several innovations upon RCN. So first is that the first RCN passes the entire image to the pre-trained RCN, to be more specific, rather than cropping out the pixel on the image, corresponding to the region proposal. Instead, we imagine projecting those region proposal onto this pre-trained convolutional feature maps and then taking the crops from the convolutional feature maps corresponding to each proposal rather than taking crops directly from the image. And this allows us to reuse a lot of expensive convolution computation across the entire image where we have many, many crops. And the second innovation is the ROL pooling since the final dense layer are expecting some fixed size of input, so now we need to do some reshaping of those crops from the convolutional feature maps. The first RCN does that in a differentiable way using something they call as an ROI pooling layers. Once we have this warped crops from the convolutional feature maps, then we can run the crops through the ROI pooling and then feed it into some dense layers and predict your classification. So the second innovation is the ROI pooling. Since the final dense layer are expected some fixed size of input, so now we need to do some reshaping of those crops from the convolutional feature maps. So the first RCN does that in a differential way using something they call the ROI polling layer. Once we have this warped crops from the convolutional feature maps, then we can run the crops through the ROI polling and then feed into some dense layers and predict your classification. So last but not the least, the first RCN jointly trained for classification model and bounding box regression model with a multi-task loss. Because of the three innovations, fast RCN can reach a 25 times optimization speed up compared with the RCN model. However, the first RCN does not limit the research progress. Right after the first RCN, there was another upgrade, the fast RCN, which has 10 times speed up, up on the fast RCN. It only takes 0.2 seconds to inference an image. So the fast RCN was proposed by the same author and his colleagues. What is a fun is that the selective search is a bottleneck, while both RCN and fast RCN are using selective search. So the selective search greatly merges super pixels based on engineered low-level features at 2 seconds per image 
in the CPU. And hence, they create this RPN layers or this region proposal networks, which is designed for image with a wide range of scales and aspect ratios. So it shares convolution layers at test time, and the margin cost for the computing proposal is small, such as 10 milliseconds per image. And to generate the region proposal, we slide a small network over the convolutional feature maps output by the last shared convolutional layer. And this small network takes as input and unbalanced spatial windows of the input convolutional feature map. And each slided window is mapped to a lower dimensional features with 256 dimensions or 512 dimensions. Then this feature is fitted to a two sibling fully connected layers, a box regression layers, and a box classification layer. At each slightly window location, we simultaneously predict multiple regional proposal, which we call as an anchor boxes. And uh, they are of different scales and ratios. Some RPM proposals highly overlapped with each other. To reduce the redundancy, we adopt the non-max suppression or NMS on the proposal region based on their classification scores, which leaves us about 2,000 proposal regions per image in the end. Well, the step after regional proposal networks is following the same as the fast RCN, with first the RI pooling to pull the feature together and fit into the dense layer. What is more, it also uses multitask losses for the category classifier and bounding box regressor. And that's all for the regional based convolutional neural networks which is one branch of fashion for the object detection task. And next, we will explore another fashion where we only process the whole image once. That is the Yulu method.